Now I know what you're thinking. What in the hell is this game? Well, sit down and let your old gramps tell you. The War of the End of the Days was a game released in 2010 on the Xbox 360 as part of the Xbox Live Indie Games. All 360 fans know about this, but in case you don't, games created under this were developed, reviewed, and published by a community of indie developers under Microsoft's XNA. The service ran for a while until it was eventually discontinued in 2013. Microsoft wanted to switch their focus over to the Xbox One, and the Xbox Live Indie Games did not follow behind it. By October 2017, all of these games were removed from the Xbox 360's store, which is kind of sad. A good amount of these games from this server still live on in other places like Steam or the PlayStation Store, and even the Xbox Store actually, but a large majority of them are just forever lost. Well, actually they're preserved on the Internet Archive, but there's no way to play them I don't think. One of these games you can't play anymore is today's game, The War of the End of the Days, created by a man named Diego Salazar. I have no idea who he is, but he also made another game very similar to this one called The Conquest of Planet Earth, which looks just like this game and is well known for being horrible. So I have high hopes for this game. Also what's with the title, The War of the End of the Days? Do you really need of the twice? Why not just The War of the End of Days or something like that? The war to end all days. I don't know, something. The story is... Uh... The story is... What the hell is the plot to this game? This game is a shooting game in 3D. Beings of another galaxy want to conquer the Earth. Don't try to speak with them. Alright. Yeah, a bunch of robots invaded and you gotta stop them. Simple as that. But well, you're not here for the plot, let's be honest here. As you can tell, it's a first person shooter, and it's a pretty bad one, no surprise there. I know some people will say it's not nice to make fun of an indie game because of limited resources, but fuck it. I spent money on it, so I'll say what I want. Your main goal of each level is to make it to the end, finding off two enemies copied and pasted throughout the game. Only two enemies, and they are lifeless. One enemy walks slowly towards you while you shoot it and the other will stand still and shoot projectiles which will either miss entirely or land every shot. Sometimes when you kill an enemy another one will spawn in right behind it wasting more of your time and ammo. You need to be in range of an enemy before you can hurt it or else your gun does nothing. What? You thought you could use your gun like a normal gun and use it at a long range? Don't be so silly. You only have one weapon, this weird polygonal machine gun which fires little green missiles. It works fine enough I guess. The levels are fairly linear, for the most part, with the occasional house maze thrown in. There are no items to collect. Instead, there are two recharging spots for your health and ammo. Get used to using them a lot because the damage these enemies deal out can be brutal. Like here, I took two shots from this guy and I'm down to 16 health. Like, jeez, give me a chance. At the end of each level, it gives you a status screen. Besides the obvious typo of shoots instead of shot, one thing bothers me. The secrets and treasure score. Guess what? There are no secrets or treasures throughout this whole game, and trust me, I spent too much time trying to find any. The only other notable thing to talk about are the glitches I ran into. Some examples are my gun not firing any missiles but still chews through my ammo, being able to shoot enemies through the wall, walking through walls, sometimes when I pick up ammo my missiles fire to the left of my gun or sometimes above the gun. I wasn't able to catch it in the recording, but sometimes when I shot an enemy, it would play its death animation over and over again. Strange stuff like that. Do I even need to mention the graphics? I mean, look at it, it's horrible. Nothing has any rhyme or reason to it. Like, look at these couches. Look at these buildings. Look at this helicopter. Look at this. Just look at any of this. It doesn't fit in with anything at all. The only animations in the game are the robots, and that's not even correct. Like, look, their limbs are being detached from their body. And when they die, they just cut to a death animation. It's really bad. By far the worst part of the game is the auditory department. Oh my god, the sound in this game is terrible. The game may only be 30 minutes long, but I had a headache in the middle of it. The music is nothing notable, just electronic boops. I will say that the first level's music got trapped in my brain forever. It sounds bad, but it's catchy and I absolutely hate it. The sound effects 
Oh my god. They just pierce your soul. You need to prepare yourself because I can't even describe these sound effects in words. You might want to turn your volume down because man it's real bad. What was he thinking? It's just so painful to listen to. But you know, that glass breaking sound effect gives me an idea for a really bad joke. My final words about this game is that it's complete trash. Are you surprised? Nothing about it was fun, and the only decent part was the first level's annoying ass music. I would say avoid this game, unless you're completely crazy, but you can no longer purchase this game. You're safe from any harm this game might bring to you. I hope this Diego Salazar guy is still around making games though. Game Facts said his last known game was in 2011. You all start from the bottom. Hopefully you've improved your craft since this game.